Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing another cars I can't afford video. Uh, last time I did one of these, it was a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. These are becoming ever so popular amongst the car scene. Uh, but today I'm gonna to be looking at the Aston Martin Valor. Now, if you don't know much about the Valor already, Gordon Ramsay's recently picked one of them up in like a greenish kind of color. Uh, it's, it's a very nice, very nice spec, I'd say. In terms of the spec of these, the cars boast a 5.2 litre V12. Uh, they have 705 brake horsepower with about 555 foot pounds of torque. It's also got a six speed manual in it as well. And I think that over an automatic gearbox should make for one thrilling drive. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into specking one. So I'll admit I've cheated on this before. Um, I've actually specced one of these up when I've been sort of bored at lunchtime at work. Uh, and the one color that really stands out to me is this nice purple, which is called a digital violet. You can also get a few other purples on here, um, which are a lot darker, like the storm purple, or you could go for the more blue side and go for an hour blue. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go for a digital violet. In terms of the seating, as much as I like the sports seats, I would much prefer the sort of normal, everyday sort of comfort sport plus seats. Uh, they've got, you know, variable adjustability in them. 16 weight, to be exact. Um, and I just think having that is going to be a lot more comfortable drive. It's not going to be as rough. And to be fair, if you're going to be using this, you want to use it as a daily. You don't want to just be putting it on track. In terms of the actual seed colour to choose, you can get a variety of different colours, ranging from blacks to blues to reds to browns. I would most likely say that if I was going to choose a car like this, I'd probably go for like a nice maybe like a nice white or maybe even a nice like beige or something just to sort of like get a just get a bit of a more uplifting feel like make it feel a lot less dark although if you are going to go for a sort of like stealth look you probably want to go for some black seats um i mean the oxford tans look rather nice as well i think actually i'll probably i'll probably choose them but will it go with a purple exterior Let's double check this. Actually, yeah, I'd, I'd, I would say that the, the purple works well with the Oxford tan. So for this purpose, I'm gonna go for the Oxford tan leather. You can also change the sort of inner part. Um, although for some reason it's staying as yellow. You can also change your headline and you can make that brown as well. I think for the purpose of this, I like to have black headlining. I just think having any other color is a bit, it's a bit odd. Um, if you go for a white headliner specifically, you can't get it on this car. But usually when you go for a white headlining, every time you get in and out of your hair, out of your car, if you're, <laughs> if you're quite tall, your head's going to be constantly rubbing on that headliner. And I feel like you're just going to be leaving loads of dirty marks. It's not really a vibe of the car I want. To be fair, if leather isn't your, your choice, you can also go for Alicantra. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go for leather just because I prefer a leather, really. I'm not, I do like Alicantra in some aspects, but I feel like after time and time, it's going to get a bit more, it's going to wear more, it's going to get a bit oily. And then you have to find someone that can clean it properly. Although you can do it yourself at home. Um, I, I just really don't want the hassle. It's a lot easier having leather seats. In terms of carpets, you have, again, various choices. You can go for black, you can go for Oxford tan. Looking at the Oxford tan, I'd say, yeah, it sort of lifts up the cabin a lot more. I feel like if you stick with the black, though, it's probably a lot easier to maintain. Again, if you're in, going in and out of your car, maybe you've got some muddy boots on, some muddy shoes. Uh, that, that, over time, is just going to make the car look a bit more dirty. And I know, obviously, with a car like this, uh, you're probably not going to be cleaning your car yourself, but I think just for everyday use, having a black carpet is a lot easier to look after. If you are going for like a Ferrari or something, I'd probably just recommend going for a red because you just want just, you want everything to be red and to make it feel a lot more special. But, but yeah, at the end of the day, I'd say Ferrari looks a lot better with red carpets. For Aston Martins wise, I'm going to keep it a black. Now you can go for seat detailing, this one already comes with it. You can get contrast stitching on it as well. Um, actually, I think that looks rather nice. I think we'll keep that. I mean, the yellow is a bit odd. 
but I suppose this is a bit of a different car. It's not your everyday car, and it just makes it seem a lot more special than it is. I think for this purpose, I'm going to keep the yellow stitching on here. You can't really remove it, I don't think. Um, but I think because of its being a 110th anniversary edition, you've got to keep the yellow. And to some people, it might not go that well with the Oxford tan, but I think it's. I think for this purpose, it looks. On my screen, that is, it looks good. Um, but I am cold one, so do with that what you will. Steering wheel rise. Okay, so you can get, well, it does come with standard as a flat bottom steering wheel. You can get a normal round steering wheel, which I suppose looks nice. Um, again, you can get it wrapped in Alcantara, which isn't too bad. You can also get it in with the leather as well as the carbon fiber. And you can get it with Alcantara again with carbon fiber. I think for this purpose, I'm going to go for the leather steering wheel. Like, again, like I said before, I don't mind Alcantara. It does make it feel a much more sporty feeling car. However, again, over time, Alcantara does wear. It does get very oily. And if you're using sort of anti-back for your hands, if you're still in that sort of, I don't like germs phase, that over time does ruin the steering wheel. So I think for this purpose, again, Keep saying the word purpose. Gonna go for a leather steering wheel. Gear lever surround, you can't change it. And to be fair, it looks good as it is. It appears as well that you can actually change the gear knob on this. So you can go for an aluminium, you can go for a walnut. Nah, I won't go for the walnut, looks too cheap. Or you can go for polished titanium. I think for this, I'll go for titanium. Just makes it look a lot more, just a lot more nicer, to be fair. Um, really works with the contrast of the car. Interior carbon package, it already comes with it as standard, as it should, because I'm pretty sure the round, these cars are around sort of the two million power mark, so I could be wrong. But yeah, could be wrong. I think it's in the estimate of somewhat between one, two, maybe even three million. I don't really know. Um, it doesn't really specify on the website how much it costs. Again, it's going to be one of those pricing, pricing inquiry uh, I would have thought of one of these cars as well. There's probably going to be a select list of people that can actually get hold of them. Because um, it wouldn't surprise me if they're very selective of who purchases this car. Which as, it's, as they should. Gordon Ramsay being a big celeb, big chef as he is. He's always spending, he's always got some really nice cars. He's got some really nice Ferraris. So that's the type of person that would probably get one. Um, somebody who's probably an Arab, big rich Arab, probably will get one as well. Uh... But yeah, if you're a bit of a bit of a chavvy sort of crypto guy, you, mm, I don't know. I don't think you'd get one, but obviously, I don't know. I don't work at Aston Martin. Okay, another option that you can get is an aluminium pack. Uh, if you're having a look closely, it does sort of change the interior panels, the alum aluminium parts around the uh, like around the gear knob, around the center console, and in the door. I would say for the purpose of just my preference, really, I prefer the normal aluminium. It just makes it look a lot more upmarket. It looks it looks a lot less cheap. Okay, so you can actually, I was wrong before, you can actually change the sort of interior accent pack of the 110. So let's have a look at the options, shall we? So you can go for, okay, so it's not the stitching that you can't change, but you can change the lines in the middle. Uh, actually, I kind of like the black, although I did like the line before, as they call it. AMR line. I'm going to stick with the AMR line. The black does work really well. It makes it feel nice and fancy. It also works with the bolsters as well because they're black, but you know, the, the line in the middle being lime works quite nicely. So we'll stick with that. Personalization. So you can get rid of the one temp anniversary package. And the only difference between that and the non is obviously you get the bright anniversary logo on the silver plaque the fender badge, and in the headrest, as you saw earlier on the seats. I personally might keep it because it might increase the value of the car later on if it, if it does have it, as opposed to if it doesn't have it. Um, obviously, people who buy this are probably fans of Aston Martin and they want to keep the heritage. So I'm going to keep the 110th anniversary package. Not, not like I can afford it anyway, but if I was to have one and then sell it, I feel like I'd get a lot more having that anniversary package. One thing we did miss actually, and going back to the exterior, 
is I've actually forgotten quite a lot of it. So you can change the lower package. So you can go for a gloss black, you can go for gloss carbon fiber, and you can go for a gloss, well, a satin carbon fiber on the, on the bottom cells. I think for this, I'm gonna go for a, a gloss carbon fiber. I just think it looks a whole lot better. Gloss works nicely. I feel like, again, just not a fan of satin carbon. Like it's okay, I've got it on the paddles of my, of my M240i, uh, but I'd be honest, I would prefer them to be gloss. So upper body package, you can, you've got four options on this one. You can either go for body colored, you can go for gloss carbon, satin carbon, or you can go for a gloss black. This is what it looks like with the satin. This is what it looks like with gloss black roof. It does look nice to be fair. And this is what it looks like with the gloss carbon. You can, like I said, keep it as the body color. As much as I like it, I think I might actually go for the gloss carbon. I think it makes it feel a lot more lower. It helps with the body, body lines. And I just think it sort of breaks up the pattern in the car as well. So for this purpose, I keep saying that same one, I'm gonna go for the gloss carbon. Side vents. Again, going to keep it gloss carbon. You can also get these things called exterior bright works. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of these. So let's have a look at the options. So you've got dark, which dim well darkens the color of the grill. And I think it darkens. Yeah. So it darkens the aluminium sort of chrome part around the door, the trim around the door. And it also darkens the grill. I mean, I don't know about you, but the grill being black, it just looks a bit like a fish. It looks a bit weird. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the grill as chrome. Grill surround, it's already matched the lower body package. Yeah, no real point in changing it. Might as well just keep it as is anyway. Wheels, now with the wheels, you have three options. You can go for gloss silver, You can also go for satin black, or you can go for diamond. Let's have a look at this angle, shall we? And again, this angle, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the shadow wheels. I think the diamond cut alloys look a lot better. So for that purpose, Go for that. Brake calipers, you, again, you can have various different colors. I think just because it sort of matches with the color, mm, actually, the yellow looks a bit odd. Orange or bronze? I think for this, I'm going to go for bronze. You could go for red, actually. Hmm. What do you think? I think for this, I will go for bronze. Because we haven't really got any bronze, but I feel like the bronze is probably a, more on the sweat on the... Bronze is more on the side of being br brown, to me, anyway. And obviously we've got Oxford tan seats. And I feel like the bronze and the brown would work quite well. But let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know what you think. Is it a good choice? Is brown, brown and bronze, do they work well? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, brake discs, only one option, carbon ceramic. And of course, if you're paying millions of pounds for this type of car, you're gonna have carbon ceramics. You're gonna be able to afford it, so you're not really gonna be bothered. No one's gonna go for steel brakes if you're on multi-million pounds. Okay, so I think that's about it. I think another thing I did miss actually was the seat belts. Um, again, you can make them tan. You can make them graphite, you can make them red, you can make them mocha, whatever that color is, ivory. I'm just gonna stick with black. Never really had a problem with black seatbelts, to be honest. And to be fair, if you've got a girlfriend in the car or a wife or a boyfriend, whatever it may be, putting on a seatbelt, that's maybe bright yellow. If they're wearing something pink, there's gonna be a bit of a clash. And it's not gonna be a great argument. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. I mean, the only f last thing you can order is a six-piece luggage set, which I'm not really bothered about. I don't really want Aston Martin branded suitcases because it's just going to get ruined anyway. 
You can get car protect, so let's add on wheel, winter wheel and tire kit, convenient package, car colours, indoor and outdoor. You can get a personalised one if you if you want that. Don't know why you would. You can also get tread plates. Let's go for bright. Don't even show you how far. <laughs> never, in my, never in my life did I think that as part of the accessory package of buying a car would they offer you an open face helmet with a Union Jack on it or some driving shoes. Am I okay? I'll leave it. I'll stick. I'll stick with my Vans, mate. In summary, what colour did I go for? Well, I went for... I went for digital violet. I think that with the diamond cut alloys works quite well. This is what it looks like in the dark. And this is what it looks like in the day. To me, that colour is the best colour. I'd say purples are the way to go. I wish my car was purple. Perhaps maybe I'll get it wrapped. But I think the purple looks really nice. Dynamically, it works nicely in day and in night. The alloys work perfectly well as well, I think as well. Having the chrome on there sort of breaks up the car as well as having the carbon roof and the carbon seals at the bottom. I think the interior wise as well, we've gone for is a very nice choice. Might be a bit of a bold choice with the lime green package, but I'd say it works nicely to me anyway. It is my car. This is the car that I would choose. Oh, I mean, just, just look at the back. Look at the arse on that thing. It just looks so planted and it's not even moving like even on this even on this image it looks brilliant i mean even look at the interior this is what it looks like in at night and this is what it looks like in the day it's just something so special and i think the dial as well works really well having a digital display and then you can change all your different track modes in that and then having the middle screen i'd say aston martin personally could have done better with maybe the rest of the dashboard but i think that's just the way that they're going but the rest of it from below where that gear knob is just having a six-speed manual in something like this with like 700 brake it's outrageous it is crazy but yeah i think the seats work quite well to be fair at night as well like the seats look really special and i think if there's some ambient lighting somewhere in that car it doesn't tell you but if there is any ambient lighting I feel like it will just make the car feel so much special. So let me know your thoughts. Did I make a good spec car? Do you agree with the spec I've gone for? What would you do differently? What colour would you have it in? Let me know by dropping a comment below. If there is another type of car that you want me to do one of these videos on, please again drop that in the comments. As always, like and subscribe. Subscribing will help me in the long run. It's free for you, benefits me, and it means I can make more videos. So yeah, thanks guys. See you next time.